today's current event we're going to talk about is ISIS. What do you guys think about it? I think it's ridiculous. Why is that? Because these people have such strong feelings about violence, and it's like, you know, where is it like in here? So you're saying they have they no act, compassion. Yeah. Like, oh, kill me. I feel like it's more of a psychopathic issue. Because. Okay, go, no, go ahead. Right, I feel like there's a huge misconception because people. I feel like in America, I think that anyone that's part of that Islamic uh, religion or background is racist towards America, when really it's only just a small percentage of people. So people get the wrong idea that everyone that's in the Middle East is part ISIS, racist, doesn't like America, but really it's just that small percentage of people that are making a lot of noise. And I feel that it will be inevitable that they will come to America one day and try to get revenge. So do you think we should like retaliate or like put up like a front so they don't do that or what like do you I, think we should do about it? Either way, they're going to try and pull some kind of move on us. So I feel like we should just set a border and have like annual checks or whatever, you know, like how they do with airports and roads and all that kind and of stuff. Nations. Yeah. So that's my idea. I like that. To be alert, but to not be aggressive unless they aggress you. Well, they have been killing our people even though they're just... Yeah, the hostages. Yeah. There's multiple hostages, mainly journalism. Uh, unfortunately. Yeah, they're doing research. It is unfortunate, and I think that they're only doing it, obviously, just to piss us off. And to grab attention. Grab attention, a lot of attention. And they're getting that. And it's to make a point, but no point is being made. What exactly have we done to their country? I'm going for it. Okay, that's true. We are a very awesome country. But I would say problem filled country, but Both. that works too. Both. And you know this this Islamic group they're making commercials and videos, propaganda videos to s simulate GTA five video game. So that way it appeals to younger children and teenagers, like, oh, yeah, that's what I want to do, you know. Right. And it's totally influencing them to be a part of that kind of mindset of violence and hatred and killing and all that stuff. So it's really Even here in the U.S., young people are exposed. They, they see the videos. They get ideas. Like, they can learn for themselves what it's all about. And it's just, overall, it's just not good to have this going on. But you see, that's, I think it's more of the person's decision to allow themselves to do that. Like, we all have that spot in our heads where we're like, oh, we know right and wrong. This is wrong. We shouldn't do it. But with that comes at an age. You know, when kids are exposed to this stuff, they're not able to think on their own and make their own decisions because they're so highly influenced by their surroundings and stimulants from the environment. But that's why we have age limits on things, because they're even though most people don't follow those. Like those alcohol. Are, yeah, exactly. Alcohol. Perfect example. Yes. Well, actually, cigarettes are age, legal 18 now. But anyway, yeah. Driving, too. You have to be 16 to have a license. But people do stuff like this. So how do you feel about ISIS? I don't like them. They're violent. And unreasonable. Why? Because they demand things that aren't reasonable, such as the whole world following what they want. And yeah. So, are like the radical groups going into other countries and expanding? Yes, or? they are. They have moved to Europe. And the radicals, not the extreme radicals, but the radicals are in Europe spreading hate and raising their children there to spread hate throughout Europe. Do you feel threatened that they will approach the United States soon? Well, definitely they're going to approach the U.S. They've already um, enlisted people from here, recruited them, so it's already here. So it's just inevitable now that it will happen? It's not inevitable, but I mean, no one's going to do anything about it. 
other countries in Europe and stuff could do stuff about it, but they're not going to because they're going to be seen as the bad guy. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. So apparently, from all these discussions, we've concluded that there's a lot of violence in the world. Definitely. When, yeah, I feel like we should come together as a plan and do something about this whole scarcity of water instead of tending to fight one another for oblivious reasons or stupid reasons. Exactly. I'm aiming for world peace. <laughs> and you know, whenever you see a video online or something, it's not about like somebody helping another person that's in need. It's always filming like the violence that's going on. Like if there's a fight or if somebody, you know, got run over and there's nobody helping them, they're just filming like the entertainment part of it, because people find entertainment and violence, and it's just really disgusting to watch. Really, it's just mindless entertainment, because the people that are fighting probably aren't really thinking through why they're even mad at each other in the first place. Things could be simmered, but usually they escalate over no reason, just because people don't know how to communicate with one another. And that's why a lot of people argue behind the screen and online, because it's a lot easier that way than to say it in person. Not only that, but our military is based on do as I say kind of thing, so they can't really think for themselves. If they're told to go attack this part of the sector because for some reason they have no choice but to do it, and I think that's ridiculous, and that's why I don't really like the military. Yeah, I agree with that. Me too. So, our final conclusion would be ISIS is bad. Thank you. <laughs>